Thank you. Right. Spin, 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 yeah. Isn't it kind of like the office in a way? Because just for some background, we, uh, we have like 15 years of competition signs up on our walls and I, I thought this was kind of like a, a cool homage to that or like a cool yeah. nod to that. Yeah, I mean, you guys are amazing. I, I you know. Man. Sometimes I wonder if this is a real, I mean, I don't know how that is in, uh, in today's terms, but when I was reading A Life of Ideas, uh, the book on Solouette, one of the things that I was noticing, or at least a parallel with this industry, is that uh, it seems as though the art world was traditionally like a male-dominated uh, world, and it's kind of the same with sign spinning. I mean, granted, now it's probably a little different, but mm -hmm. not too many of these hands are female. Mm. So that was something worth noting. You know any? You do you recognize any? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That is definitely Kadeem, because the he's got the the Jamaica uh, bodysuit. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's also beautiful in terms of labor. Yeah. I mean, that's the whole basis for me. One of the. You got any good ones, Joey? Not that I haven't healed from. <laughs> yeah. I got a good one up here. A couple, a couple on the hands. Yeah. <sighs> Salute your service. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. These. And it's funny because sometimes you can see uh, all of our signs are 10 millimeters apart or 10 millimeter width. And so sometimes when the edging uh, wears off, like you can see they're like exactly 10 millimeters, all of them. That's like one of the things that sign spinners share is that we all have the exact same size injuries. Scars. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But it's a beautiful gesture in terms of point of view also, as far as the photographs go. Yeah. Right. So the position, you know, where it positions the viewer as one and the same with the spinner, right, in terms of the point of view of the hand. Um, so in some sense, it's also um, an offering. Yeah. Wow. Very beautiful. The coloration is different on this one. That's... That's the driving arm. <laughs> that's the driving <laughs> arm, yeah. And also wearing rings. Man, that's, that's rough. Yeah. A lot of inverts. A lot of inverts. Yeah, you can tell which sign spinners go upside down because uh, the dirt makes it to the palm. Because normally it'll stick, like when, when sign spinners don't do car wheels and stuff, you see it how it sticks to like the top of the hand. But then you get dirt showing up further down, that's when the hands are hitting the ground. So it's great that these things are this legible to the two of you. This is a left-handed spinner because of yeah. that wear right there. <laughs> That's incredible. Yeah, because normally, and you can kind of see it on mine, I'm a right-handed spinner. Mm. That wear point. Feels like we're looking at skate shoes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. definitely. Yeah. But what you were saying about, I mean, you know, injuries. Spinjuries. Uh, oh, spinjuries. <laughs> <laughs> like that. <laughs> you know, uh, you know so these almost double, almost as like a, you know, as a kind of document. You know, I was mentioning labor before, but also, you know, again, a, a document, not just of the physical, the physical wear and tear. All right. Um, I've never appreciated this from the first person point of view like that, where this is sincerely the view of the spinner. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, looking at, I mean, you know, it's interesting, I mean, all that there, uh, all there is to say about the hand, right? 
And so there was very um, funny computer images about the amount of uh, brain space that different parts of the body um, uh, consume, essentially, right? Mm -hmm. So from the, from the point of view of the, the brain and brain activity, which parts of the body are, you know, what if they were scaled to how much brain activity there were for a given part of the body? And the hands are huge, right? Yeah. And yeah. So the hands are, you know, there's a lot of articulation there. Exactly. You know, what's it's interesting is that in these photos, we see how much, you know, sign spinning, but like when it comes to like on the corner interaction, these are also the primary tools of communication because people have their windows rolled up, you know, and it's, it's about interaction, you know, it's about mm -hmm. delivering the message on the sign. So it's always pointing and waving. So, you know, I, I've had, personally, I've had multiple circumstances where you get cut, you know, and you see hot blood. And so you're just out there like, hey, and they're like, Ugh. <laughs> so it, it's interesting that you know these are this is like the biggest point of contact both with the sign and the public mm -hmm. yeah. you know and, and universally across sign spinners because I think it's probably 50 50 sign spinners wearing sunglasses so like this <laughs> is what we're using to interact with tens of thousands of people every day yeah. You know, but as it relates to the to the show, I mean, one of my questions, um, the the parallels uh, between the page, right, which is where Lewitt's statements on conceptual art would have appeared, right. So the page as a support versus the body as a support for the text, right? So then you have um, uh, a kind of figure, uh, figure ground situation, right? Where the body becomes a ground, where the figure is a ground, right? The figure as the support vehicle for the text. But what you were saying about the hands, um, it isn't just the body, but literally the hands that are, um, the ground, let's say, right? yeah, as a way of almost grounding um, the work. It's almost the foundation of our communication, too. I mean, beyond the tricks, that's also a pointing, a waving. Uh, oh, right. It's also a cool nonverbal communication with those. Yeah. See, and so the names are here, and because I know all of these people, it's funny because the darkness of the background actually tells you how tall they are <laughs> because of the, where the flash is. Yeah. Oh, wow. Because <laughs> Kadeem is taller than Ashley. Yeah. <laughs> that's really funny. And yeah, that's... <laughs> that explains a lot. Yeah, Vincent and Kadeem are about the same height. Well. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> That uh, is something. Completely. Yeah. But also to think about the, the um, you know, as far as a kind of umbrella f for the show, um, to choose <laughs> Spinners and LeWitt, could there be two more antithetical things? Right. Yeah. Uh, as a way of also just talking about, you know, mind versus body, right? Yeah. That old chestnut mm -hmm. in a way. Uh, but be, so it may, it's a very awkward uh, cocktail, let's yeah. say, in terms of these two things that are incredibly heterogeneous, yeah. right? They don't belong in the same universe in yeah. part, but as a way... Uh, uh, of talking about mind and body. This is a very beautiful way 
to kind of open open the exhibition. Yeah. Or a way of introducing, let's say, in terms of representation, the body into the exhibition, yeah. right? Because it's, you know, short of performance itself, right? Is there any other um, way of, uh, in the absence of the performance, having those two things collide, right? So I think this is a very beautiful way. And it's not, on the one hand, yes, it's a portrait of the spinners, right? But it isn't their entire body, mm -hmm. right? But a portrait through just their hands, which is, let's see, in terms of, you know, a way of indexing our individuality, right? Hands, fingerprinting, right? So this part of the body, in some sense, does speak for the whole. My name is Hamza Walker, and I'm director of LAX Art, and I'm absolutely thrilled to be in discussion with Joey and Justin, and sign spinning is fascinating.